Well, Fred, it's here, your retirement. Whoever thought it would happen? I know. You know, a number of years ago, everything ended at the other place, and Terry Moyer left, and I left, and lots of other people left, and one day I had a call, and she'd come over to Channel 3, and she said, let's have lunch, and uh, that was 12 years ago, and I've been at this place for 12 years. I'm getting... <laughs> A little frail and a little old, and sometimes I don't remember the way I should, but uh, it's just been a great, great run, and the people over here have just been utterly terrific to me, and I'm just, just so pleased with it. It's just been a great, great, great time. Now, what I'll do next, I don't know, maybe write a book. I'll think of something. My daughter's a historian, and she keeps saying, you got to write a book about the morning exchange, so I'll give it prayerful thought. Maybe I can remember something. <laughs> Well, your career spans a long time. Yeah, well, actually, I was, I was intending to be a newspaper guy, and I was in college and majored in, majored in philosophy and thought that would be a good way to get into the uh, journalism business. But what happened was I got commissioned in the, in the Air Force, and the Korean War was starting, and no one would hire me. And I knocked on a radio station door one day, and they forgot to ask me a question about my military status. They hired me, and then I went to the military, and they had to take me back. So that's how, that's how I became a broadcaster. Well, that's great. Congratulations on your retirement, but your fans aren't going to let you go away. <laughs> we, Debbie, thank you very much. We so want to see a lot of you. Thank you so very much.